Hi, this is T Tai on Floss TV Africa, where we we'll bring to you the biggest sentiment stories and definitely analyze them for you. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Olu Oshinke. It's good, it's good. Hi. How's it going? I'm fine. How was the weekend? Good, restful, mm -hmm. fun. Mm. Yeah? Amazing. Mm. Restful. Ife tell us. Amazing. No, 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 just Did restful. You do amazing. Yeah, like yeah it was just amazing. A lot of food. Um, a lot of sleep. Mm. Food. <laughs> yeah, food yeah, does. I do love food. Does. I won't even lie about mm. it. There are two things that keep me going: food and money. Mm. Provide those two, and we're good, man. Okay. Best to friends. Mm. Yeah. So, um, a lot of food, a lot of sleep, and mm. um, yeah, a lot of anger as well, though. Anger. Yeah. How come? It's personal stuff. I'm just angry about a lot of things. Oh yeah. Is yeah. worry on the list? It tops the list, actually. <laughs> okay. I love mm. your look, though. It's Thank like you're you, switching you it too. up this week. You mm. see, I like the con rolls and everything. Okay, mm. girl. Okay, so let's get into <laughs> the conversation of this episode. Fireboy is to release new album this month. The album will be a follow-up to his debut and best-selling album, Laughter Tears and Goosebumps. So mm. it's interesting to know that he's Jai about to drop another Jai. one in about a year. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's like, when did we have um, LTG? That was late last year, right? Mm. And, ah, okay. Can he keep up the this are, momentum? The are good so far. I like, I like, um... You know, I asked really. myself that same question. Mm -hmm. Sorry. No, go on. Would like can he keep up with it? Mm -hmm. But realizing that it's Olamide's artist, and right mm. now Olamide's protege, like Olamide is actually keeping him in his cocoon. Mm. Like yeah. you can't. And I think Olamide is also working on And Olamide is eleventh well. body of work, yeah. and every track has been a hit back to back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you understand? Like mm -hmm. you can't take that away. So I think Olamide will give him that same ginger, that same zeal. You mm -hmm. know, and we don't see Olamide being unnecessarily extravagant yeah. or frivolous. We don't see all those things from him. So it's, it looks like the kind of guy that He's came focused. from the ghetto, understands that he came from the ghetto and doesn't plan to go back to the ghetto. Mm. <laughs> Do you understand? Mm. So mm. I think... Well, Olamide, Olamide, you have a masterpiece on this table. <laughs> so, them, but it's Fireboy that is Yeah, so um, <laughs> I think he's going to keep Fireboy in check. And okay. Fireboy seems like that kind of guy too that knows that's, exactly that's what he's doing. That is ready to be kept yeah. in check. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it seems that way. Even his music sounds that way. You get. But I feel like his music on this album is it, it's giving me a very different vibe mm. from um, <coughs> from the first one. Yeah. I mean, with, with Ellie. Ellie, Ellie, with, Ellie with this um, L2G, I mm. think he has given himself a standard that he has to beat. Mm. I'm just hoping that this does it for me the way LTG yeah. did because LTG is, a, is an album that I don't skip. Once yeah. I start streaming it, That's I'm it. finishing it. Yeah. Like, and there are a couple of songs on that same album that I want to listen to over and over I'm again. I'm not sure I that's so what's I don't know if he can with the next with this one. one. I'm hoping he can. It's I the same way know. I feel about Rema. I feel like when Rema came, he was doing something that nobody else was doing. Like mm -hmm. His sound was really unique, but the last few, Ginger and no, this one, no. sounding more commercial. Like everybody else can I do it. I thought so too, but <sighs> until I listened to Alien and um, you know after I did Woman, Woman mm. was like the only commercial one. Then he mm. still dropped like two other you tracks. Don't think Ginger was... That was okay. Ginger yeah, it's and mad commercial. For and Woman is like Lady, so it's still a Rema vibe. Yeah. Lady, oh, lady. Mm. Yeah, so ah. Woman is like Lady, so it's like a follow up. It's like a sequel. To I don't know. Sure. I just feel lady. like people sometimes go very commercial when they've done one or two, but mm. like EPs or albums or whatever. But at least what I'm getting from this conversation is that we are looking forward to this album. Oh, we are. And secondly, is that he's giving us a standard that he has to beat as well. Yeah. So. Kudos we to him and good luck to him. A few years down the line, we'll no, let's asking, focus on this is, August. It's August 20, we'll right? Not be like, yeah. Yeah. Where, where is it Fireboy? I don't think that will happen. I don't think that will happen so soon, but fingers crossed. Mm. Yeah. Fingers crossed, man. Okay, moving on to the next story up for conversation. Petition to remove Kylie Jenner from Cardi B's WAP um, video receives more than 59,000 signatures. It's been counting more than that. We're like 60 something now. He said we are in it. It's like you're part of the movement. I, well, I, I get the idea <laughs> behind it. You, you, what's the idea? What's the idea? It? Yeah. Um, well, because Normani and the other black people that were in the video were doing a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've seen the compilation 
um, thread. So you see that Normani, for example, was really splitting and going on the floor, and mm -hmm. everybody else was because like Kylie really. Wasn't splitting, and then that's a yeah, problem. so it's, no, they said it's a um, visual representation of the fact that black women have to overcompensate, and then the white person just has to exist for existing sake, um, and not not do much. That's the life is not that serious. That's the um, story behind it, behind some of the people who are signing, and other people just don't like Kardashian and period. But I don't know. This for life me, is not yeah. that deep. Yeah, thank you. That's it's it. That but deep. for me, I think um, change.org, that's the platform they're using to sign this thing, right? I think maybe they need to start screening what we are signing. Exactly. Like, it's getting really ridiculous, fam. Like, I, I, I mean, <laughs> I'm not saying they don't have the right to feel the way they feel or feel like black women and all overcompensating, but from what I saw <laughs> from that video, <laughs> I think she was actually trying to... Sometimes she you don't see their struggle, but she was also trying to overcompensate, in my mm. own opinion, by Thank showing you. too much and trying to show that this is the reason why people can accept me. You know, so I don't know. It depends on the angle you're looking at it I from. Feel like we need I think to have some. I think we need to Honestly, have some Kylie Jenners in life. So you won't have to. I mean, there has to be to balance. Everybody cannot begin to overshare. Honestly we speaking, this Kylie conversation of this world. for me or personally is for the Black Americans who live in America who experience colorism the way they experience it. I can never watch it and feel. I don't view life based on that type of perspective okay. where everything is like, oh, a white person is doing this, oh, a black person is doing this. Mm -hmm. I notice a lot of the times black people, black Americans and Africans defer on that notion even when we're abroad because mm -hmm. for a lot of Africans, um, because we have been ra um, raised in a society that has told us that we are, especially if you're Nigerian, what they've told you, see, as long as you're Nigerian, you are the, you are the it. Yeah, you are the it. So, like, we don't really have that perspective on life of like all oh, this person is doing more than me because she's we white are not and person, really inferior well, we are to one, a certain degree. yes yeah. so i think that for me it is very hard to sit here and act like i, I first of all i don't want to dismiss <coughs> anybody's um realities because at the end of the day you're a product of your reality mm -hmm. um so i don't want to dismiss what the black black people are, are are going through black americans and i'm not going to pretend like i said no there isn't actually colorism that exists because even for a black dark skin girl in nigeria it's just a very different type of context so um I so you're saying we should just understand them from their own context. I'm right? saying that I don't understand, but I can I can, you can see, see why they, they would have that type okay, of. Okay, so do you yeah. think Cardi B is going to do anything about this? Of course not. Okay. In as much as I understand what you just said now, talking about um, being Nigerians, we don't have that inferiority complex. We feel like we're even, if there's anything like Nigerian supremacist, <laughs> I swear. Yeah. We, are, we, we are that. We do. Yeah, we do. You get me? Like, we yeah. feel like we're all of that. Like, you can't even take it away. If I walk into a room filled with other people, if anything, from we actually country, think of white people as less. I know how many people sometimes um, almost mock um, the idea the of. The woke ones, let's, let's be straight on that. The woke ones are the okay. ones that look like. Let's not get. This that. conversation to the point where can we talk be about this song? Can we even talk about the song for a minute? What did you, you like the song? It was so gross. <clears throat> I mean, that's that's I think, when I, I think it said well, the I, purpose I, I, it needed to serve, which is for the grossness, <laughs> and they saying I'm I'm all that like your body's banging, whatever it is. I mean, I think it served the purpose for them, but is that my kind of song? Yeah. Nah, but the the video based on the song and the purpose of the song, it banged. Like, right. they put in the work. They did the creativity, the dance step, and everything. But it's not my kind of song. I don't think you would catch me back dancing to that. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm, in the club, maybe. Mm, maybe no. in the club, mm, It yeah. doesn't even sound that... It doesn't sound very smooth in the air. Okay, so I know there's a rivalry between Nicki Minaj and Cardi B, and I don't know if it's a very petty thing as a Nicki fan, but I was kind of glad... A very petty thing. A very thing, petty thing, but I was kind <laughs> of Nikki glad fan. that it didn't bang as nice much fun. as, um, what's it called, um, Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion. Because mm -hmm. there obviously it'd be a comparison between mm -hmm. all the people that she's on. No, of course it didn't bang like that. Oh, it didn't Definitely. bang like that. It's kind yeah. of happy. I'm a Nicki fan <laughs> as well, so let me not... I'm a... But basically, basically, I just just think that the world needs a lot of Kylie of this world. Can we have a balance in as much as we don't want to see the, um, what's it called now? The supremacy of black people or the inferiority of black people. Can we have a balance? Can we have something to always remind us that these things are there? So that when we are rem reminded of those things that are there, we can I don't agree, better. but let's just move on. Yeah. There needs to be a balance as far as I'm concerned. Let everybody be represented, simple and short. But in time, we'll be right back after this very short break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still...
end up as a useless child. I decide every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, I love Africa. I'm feeling good. No time to dull. Everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you. Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi like Woo! <laughs> Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Nollywood is now a den of Yahoo boys and prostitutes. And this is coming from veteran <coughs> Nollywood actor <coughs> Yemi Shulade. Um, he said, and I quote, because it would be better to read it as he said it. The Nollywood is not there right now. The Nollywood you see now is all encompassing. It's like an uncompleted building that is not guarded, and what you meet there would amaze you. It has become an all commerce affair. Anybody can stroll in and, out and act. All the Yahoo boys are now there. All the prostitutes that you can imagine are there. People cannot even differentiate between the core professionals and this class of clowns who have infiltrated the association. But they didn't just fly in. Some people whom you refer to as core professionals brought them in. It's just so porous that anybody can become an actor. The entry point is so porous and annoying. It is a profession and it must be handled and treated as one. I'm not really pleased with the state of the industry. It's a professional body and we must portray ourselves as one that has mastered the arts and the craft of profession. End of quotes. While I was reading this, I was reading it in his voice because I kind of know how he talks. Yeah. But, I think um, <clears throat> I disagree with the part where he said that you cannot differentiate. I think even us viewers, we know an influencer and an actor. We know when somebody has privilege and is just there because of her bomb bomb or because of, you, you know, she's really, yeah, or she's really pretty or the person's really has. You can't tell when somebody's acting really bad. Um, but for the for the uh, most part the conversation that he's bringing up is really important at first i was a bit like mm, should we really restrict creativity i think we've had that conversation in we Stable have as well. and i was thinking oh, should we re restrict creativity because the way this country is it's hard to to put professionalism into a lot of things there's a lot of people who work in banks and they didn't really study banking in school so mm. but then at the end of the day we the way he ended the conversation to then say that we, people that do get on screen should have at least mastered the craft I feel like that's what I took away from it so no matter what you study because we're in a context where that doesn't really matter I'm sure people are in fields where they didn't actually study no matter what you studied and the context in which the country is and blah 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 the fact that you do then get a role in whatever career that is I think that the level of seriousness should be put in shouldn't differ based on <coughs> industry should still be put into it so if you're going to actually get the opportunity whether because you want to be big brother Niger or it's because you have a nice butt you should still be able to like Harness the craft and give your all to that role. That's what I, I, could, took from I it. couldn't have said it better, but just to put some icing on the cake, right? Um, I think um, it's not okay to generalize it as well, saying it's Yahoo, because it's more like, um, what's it called now, profiling. The moment you see a person who does most of his things on the, on the internet and all of that, you just begin to assume. So you're telling me if I don't know it benefits boy. No, I understand. No, what? What's, what's Yahoo benefit boys? What? Benefit boys. Because yeah, I've been trying to understand yes. that trend. Why do you act so old? What's I benefit know. boys are Yahoo boys? It's new. It's new. It's not new. It's not an old thing. It's a new yeah, slang. And I'm saying it's benefit boys. I'm saying it's benefit boys. But I'm trying to because the jokes I only found out benefit boys this weekend when I went to The jokes I've been seeing were related to old. Yeah, you just started like last week. How am I supposed to like just started like last week now. That's so, like, so which one that's, is that's, old? A, that's our vibe now. Like we should know these things. Which things? Because we sleep on the internet. If I make your point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so back to what I was saying. Um, I don't think it's okay to generalize it in as much as I agree with 90%, in fact 95% of what he said. Considering the fact that even when abroad, when you see people that are to be brought into movies, like when Mike Tyson was supposed to act in Angover, if he asked for months, do you understand? Mm, that doesn't happen here. Yeah, no. that doesn't happen. Do so the, the professionals react react for months? 
Well, just to fit into that role and make sure that things are perfect. But you don't, you see, you see somebody trying to play a boxer and that person actually trains, becomes buff for that role and stuff. We don't see all those things happening here. Sometimes. Or sometimes they wear buff too. But anyway, <laughs> I mean, Hollywood is a vibe. And to be but, honest with you, they set that standard themselves because you people who claim to be actors, I don't want to just which treat is anybody. Why I like where he said that it's also the professionals that have made it this way. So well, no, he's, like, he's even talking about them bringing them in. Mm -hmm. But I'm even saying that they are bringing them in because they identify with each other they themselves have not put much effort in into acting now you can there's nothing wrong with them bringing somebody else who's come and go to come and do the same mediocre that you did if yeah, you were working your your behind behind off. off thoroughly in making sure that you gave the best you won't just bring anybody in because you know that the standard would, would reduce but they mm. go on their movies so even this person that's talking you know, about i've but, seen but, some terrible acting um performances from him but mm. But also, the we have to give it up like to the new age, which is the internet age, where you don't have any excuse not to learn any craft anymore. It's different for me to have a certificate of something, and it's different for me to actually know it. So if by watching YouTube alone, I'm able to learn, I'm able to get thumbs up from different professionals that you're doing well, and you know within yourself that you're doing it the right way, mm. I think it's a different thing. So saying that I need to bring a certificate. I think it just has to do with the industry. So when you're talking about professionalism in your industry, then I think you start thinking of about how to educate people in that same industry. Mm. But that's I, like, I like how if I um, put it in the beginning, actually, because it kind of um, watered it down a bit in a diplomatic way mm. and not sounding rude. But I, like you said, I'm not comfortable with the idea of labeling them Yahoo boys or prostitutes. Mm. Like, why exactly do you think they're Yahoo boys? Mm -hmm. Do you have proof for this? Or is it because you don't understand their source of income for the mm. longest time i know some people always tell me else what exactly do you do on the system every time are you a yahoo girl but there are a lot there are lots of things that you do on the system that is not necessarily um illegal you know so um i think he if, if you want to bring these people in especially being a veteran in the industry you also have to learn how to maybe be a veteran in the sense of being a father and understanding some things and not just staying in your archaic mentality mm. and thinking that everybody that is not in your set or haven't gone to a theater school cannot accomplish anything because like yeah. you said a skill can be picked up once you have the the wheel Passion. the willpower mm -hmm. to do it and which is what if i my saying in in sense that if you have gotten that opportunity to say you're getting roles and it's becoming like a source of income maybe mm. you should spend a lot more time if it's going to a film academy mm. if it's just actually training. looking at videos mm. online mm. Or, or training yourself it's a go a long way too. i mean mm. I've, I, I saw a course that um, this lady we've had on the show over and over again Bimbo Akintola is having and mm. that's someone that was trained in the University of Ibadan to actually be a theater art person so mm. she knows what she's doing look out for people like that and get the tips from them because you cannot say because I'm actually getting the road and I'll keep winging it then it means that you are not there for the long haul even you as yourself will be winged out mm. at some point because there will be somebody with more followers are, this is Big Brother Ninja another set of influencers and big names will come they will mm. push you out if you're not bringing in something unique to the table mm. so I think I think um, they can have, <laughs> <laughs> they can actually have conversations and do better. Of course, and I think also to blow out the blow out the conversation out of proportion to say that it's just the entertainment mm -hmm. acting industry is a bit um, naive. Yeah. Like, just check around Modeling you. Too. Mod That's, you see, it's not yeah. you know it's not even just the entertainment. Like there's people who didn't study banking and their uncle is in the management whatever and they'll learn if on the job the bankers, you, you we'll be talking about because i know i know somebody who is actually in that situation <laughs> or should we talk about the oil industry like okay. most of the people who get into the oil industry <laughs> here I, I just trying to, to, like, to get to uh, uh, so they're all, all connections I'll, I'll like they find that people who industry. studied maybe media mm -hmm. and then they come back home and then their uncle will have somebody in chevron mm -hmm. and they get a job and they're yeah, doing they media so so to me experts for chevron like see this place where or marketing you see very Quickly yes, before we, we go, Kiss Daniel is talking about um, the reason why he likes to keep his relationship private, and he's saying that this decision he has he made before he even became famous. What do you think? I think it's a decision I have made as well before I became <laughs> famous, and I think it's a healthy decision yeah. because um, I love PDA, but it has to be minimal. It has to be mm. done with some level of decorum. Mm. Um, I mean, you don't get into relationships thinking that it will fail, but mm. life happens. Yeah. So I, I, I would like to keep that room for myself and maybe my partner to be able to tread this 
treacherous world without having to be torn mm. apart because a relationship did not work. But is it um, terrible for those who are doing it? I mean, it's not. Just mm. be ready. Just know the pros and cons of your yeah. decisions, basically. I think so, too. I think your mindset towards it is very different. I've known people who would who cannot eat breakfast without putting it on social media. Mm -hmm. And then there's people on the other spectrum that you wouldn't know anything about. I feel like I'm the one that would decide how I want to put my life out there and uh, as I'm doing that anyone has to have that responsibility of knowing what that means mm -hmm. if you're going to be private know what that means if you're going to also be open you know what that means I think that both of them have consequences because yeah. even people that don't bring out their, their relationship obviously think a lot like the line that you just explained where there's privacy and you you don't want that 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 um, type of exagger um, exaggerated attention but what happens when it now comes into the timeline mm -hmm. the blow is bigger because you haven't actually even seen that person before this. so there's a lot more chances you could be dragged but same thing goes to that other person who's putting in their daily life so at the end of the day just You'll live ready. yeah just live your life the one that suits you just do yeah so many privacy is um supposed to be Gotten when Why are you smiling at all that previous? Are you dating? Are you dating plexi <clears throat> girls? No, I just feel like um, when there's assurance, mm. then privacy is no longer a thing. There's assurance, privacy. Okay. Um, no I think this is our wrap up because if it's not in the mood for this one, <laughs> thank you for watching and join the conversation on social media with the hashtag <clears> on Twitter, Twitter <throat> plus TV Africa. You can also send your opinions via WhatsApp to 0906005719 and um, also watch the time on Arousal TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always go to my interesting co anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Oshunkeye, and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Post TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay safe.